Hello again. It is Sherry again, and I'm just working through some difficulties with uh, my uh, computer. They're more they're more like annoying pains in the buttocks, but they're pretty serious, and they some of the stuff I'm seeing. Well, I'm gonna. Okay, it's extremely relevant to your life, life and lively uh, well-being, in my opinion. I'm just going to hopefully briefly go through a series of um, knowledge acquirements on my part. Um, very limited knowledge acquirements, very limited. But just enough to sort of to help some people um, understand certain types of environmental uh, concerns that they might want to be concerned with. Um, and this would be uh, from my collection of information uh, just online and um, on on the World Wide Web, the Internet of T, the IOT, the Internet of T, uh, and also in some dialogues that I had with various people over the past few years, one in specific. So the first thing is um, I would just totally be doing my own thing which is just installing a fairly simple basic program onto my computer. But as is always the case, at least for now, um, I have been uh, hindered by some barriers to installing that software. And one of the barriers that came up, I found to be not new or, you know, groundbreaking for me anyway, uh, but um, maybe it's just something that you haven't gotten wind of or whatever. It has to do with emissions testing. Um, I guess I'm not a, I'm not obviously I'm not an auto mechanic, uh, but I do have some uh, working knowledge of combustion engines, um, computers. Uh, there was actually a computer, and I don't mean one of these new car with a computer. I mean there was actually a combustion computer at one point. <clears throat> I don't have a reference for that one right now, so you can always do that. I had done a tutorial on Googling things. You can always Google that um, unless I'm following you, in which case I pretty much figure that you're going to know how to do these things on your own. Um, so anyway, I'm installing a program tonight on my computer and I run into yet another um, unfortunate phone that's connected to my computer which conveniently, you know, thought it disappeared um, after I uh, 10 minute, 10, 20 minutes after I found it, I think they were being sly and sneaky. Woohoo! So, anyway, what I came up with on my, uh, let's see what directory, if it's on my route. Uh, no, it, uh, there it was again. Oh, they are good. It popped up um, the exact, it, the exact network device, which is, uh, has an icon of a phone because it is connected to a phone but it is also connected to a car but not in the sense where um, you read your your owner's manual and did it properly but in a malicious I think a malicious sense to uh, be able to obtain uh, information about people's uh, cell phones location uh, personal information, um, where you bank, all all that type of thing through driver's license, uh, through Bluetoothing your car. It's called car warring. You drive by someone, 
and it's kind of a nearby situation and you uh, you glom on to their their uh, Bluetooth like a like a big wad of gum and long hair you might even as was in my case I was on my way to the doctor's office one day in the car a couple of years back and uh, the person pulled out in front of me and you know I guess they thought they were super sneaky stealth and immediately I see that the person Bluetooths my doctor's phone number that was in my phone uh, Bluetooth impaired their phone with my doctor's office phone number via my phone so I figured you know well if I go ahead and alert the doctor's office um, they they're probably just gonna be like oh well um, what do you mean so I didn't bother to say anything and of course that's turned into an, a, a huge fiasco I think for a lot of people but you know if you continue to try and alert people about what's going on and they take no action uh, then you you cease to do that and there have been occasions with various people who I have attempted to alert to certain situations and basically either they said that the computer knowledge was too complex or they just said well what am I supposed to do about it so anyway what we have here is a cell phone that was it's not on my root directory per se okay things are my directories are sort of changing as I speak of course because I would say that there is someone working real time in my computer as I'm on my computer so you're welcome to get the mother fuck off my computer asshole anyway the phone is called car-1741 that's the properties and the properties and if you google that particular model of phone you uh, come up with uh, first of all a map to my town and uh, secondly, General American Milk Car, Lionel Trains, Western Rail Images, Photo Keyword, 1741 Car, uh, 1741 Car, Brickpedia Fandom, Powered by Wikia. Lionel Train 6-17334 REA General American Milk Reefer Car Milk Reefer Car Is that like a marijuana milk car? I don't know what that is but a lot of stuff about trains some trains ending in a Z even uh, there's the Lionel 6-17 even though this information could save someone's life I don't think anyone's probably going to do anything about it. So I'm I'm not really, you know, trying very hard. I just think I'm going to put this out there for the people who I follow on Twitter and uh, let them make their decisions from there. Um, I don't think any systemic changes will be made. But uh, we got the, the Lionel 6-17334 Railway Express agency general american milk car and then the milk reefer car and the uh, feature die cast i think they're actually uh oh okay my friend has a, a train collection and looking at these images well okay okay this is a tough one okay so when you google the device you come up with all the train stuff but when you look at the images which is a very key important part to this you find uh, automobiles so one of them says auto accent um, it's got a red uh, it's on Yelp which is always you know coming up that's that's uh, 
comes up a lot in these types of searches and, and research. You got one that says Polizzi, and I think that would be probably Austrian, maybe? Uh, then you got Car 53. I think it's called The Love Bug, if I remember correctly from when I was a kid. And City Transit Public Service, St. Louis Company, St. Louis Company. And then you've got the VG1718 Volkswagen Beetle with a sort of, reminds me of a cat toy with a red laser light. I used to have uh, the color of it. It's a pink, it's almost like a pink metal light very pale pink metal and then some lady who's looking at her shoe in front of a car clearly European and she's got a big red oh pinup girl with stock photo from Getty so this would be the location is coming up is here right here in this little area that I'm in and then you've got a, a Land Rover Motor V8 models uh, and be a Future, it's a future Land Rover V8 model. And so that's enough about the car, that particular part. So then I'm going to move down and Google the uh, Denso, D E N S O manufacturer. And then you get a lot of uh, oxygen sensors, the pinouts and uh, wiring and everything. And, uh, and then you start really nailing it down to the to a Honda, um, which would be the next. Then I haven't even Googled the rest of it yet. Is it Honda? And then the model of this quote unquote phone is a Honda General or a Honda Generation One mid grade. And then I'm going to Google another little thing here that's the identification of the phone. Um, well, quote unquote phone. I'm not sure exactly how I would classify this, except for a lethal weapon. I'm Googling, so give me a second here. And then probably come up, no, I'm not surprised. Okay, WM Cal clocked KKBD. Uh, it's tarball. It's I call them a tarball. It's a Linux uh, file from Arch Linux. <laughs> I only know one person that codes in Arch, and I know this isn't him doing this. And then we have a PDF by Fabiana Schmidt Gua Guacha Guacha U F P E L. Guasia? I don't know. Oh, it's, uh, it's apparently this is Spanish. No, I'm not sure. Looks to be Spanish, but I'm not positive. It could be Portuguese or Provolamente. Provolamente. T1. Denigam. And then Chrysler and molecular structures of some group five. Organometallic. So to me, just what I've just told you is disturbing enough to take action, which I do every day, almost 24 hours a day. And uh, tie in a little bit of information that comes from the summer of 2017 I guess it would be around June July maybe talking to a guy who is uh, into car mechanics and this was the um, little cautionary thing I was going to alert you about if you happen to pass an emissions test and then you are ticketed because your emissions are off and sent to a location to have your emissions tested again, I would really research that, okay? Um, because I, to me, this is all really, really simple. 
how it works with havoc or you know plumbing heating air um, aut automo the automobile industry uh, waterways uh, institutions hospitals um, I don't understand not understanding how it's connected so I don't know what where to start as far as how to explain how you may you know be inhaling um, car emissions even after you're in your home or uh, anywhere really I had some uh, CO2 levels in the summer of 2016 that were astronomical and I wasn't driving a car and I wasn't smoking anything that would cause well, that um, I wasn't you know breathing like a tree uh, and I also happened to be walking three miles per day during that time frame a brisk then that's an that's a that's a very very conservative figure at least three miles a day summer of 2016 and uh, I still walk quite a bit not quite that much a little bit more tired now but I'm good um, so anyway I'm gonna be aware be aware of uh, emissions testing and make sure if you are concerned about what you might be breathing in and if you pass an emissions test and then are sent somewhere else to get it Hire a, hire a consultant or something and have them really check it out. Uh, emissions, you know, uh, any kind of healthcare setting has to deal with any type of a gas. If you're in an ambulance, it has to be properly uh, ventilated and the muffling system and the um, exhaust and all of that has to be proper. Uh, I believe there was a case where some Policemen's cars were uh, putting off a putting off an emission that was harming them. So uh, it can happen to anyone. And I'm going to wrap that up. Kind of a depressing topic because I, like I said, it's so hard for me not to just see the the whole thing, how it works, like how it works with. Well, think about the pulmonary system, and the root word of that is pulmonary, and then plumbing, and then plumbing is the movement of water through pressurized tubes. Blood is the movement of blood through your pulmonary system, which is pressurized. You have a blood pressure. Uh, waterways also uh, are involved with pressure. They also have port numbers, and so do computers. So I don't understand not getting it. And I'm not trying to say anyone's stupid because I don't know how to get from where, from what I see, which isn't an, it's not an opinion, okay? It's a fact. And I don't know how to get from where I am in my mind to how to relate that to someone who specialized, maybe their specialty is thinking about teaching or another another field that I'm not in. Alright, that's it.